Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we have a very, very breaking news thing. We have the lead side plan for the Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift Coaster at Universal Studios Hollywood. And you can see that lots of things have changed from the early concept art. So we're going to go scene by scene. This is thanks to parksfans.net, who are fantastic getting site plans for coasters like such as Arctic Rescue at SeaWorld San Diego and the Bush Gardens Dark Coaster. They have been tremendous and get at grabbing site plans and they've done a lot of digging i've even done some digging asking some people how to get this site plan and nothing uh i didn't get close but this these guys they found it which is great so this is likely the final site plan for the fast and furious hollywood trip roller coaster at universal studios hollywood all right so here we have the entire track layout and we'll be going ahead and going through each of the elements of the layout right now <laughs> and yeah Let's go through it again. Immediately, you can tell the C shaped C shaped spike was cut. These are each of the rumored elements, by the way, based on the track layout. This is, like they said, their their best guess at the layout for Universal Studios as a Hollywood upcoming coaster, who named Project 409. So let's get right into it. Starting off, the orange cones. The orange cones are orange arrows. Those are the maintenance bays. That's the maintenance bay right there with track switches those orange circles those are all three track switches the purple and the maintenance bay the maintenance bay track switches and the purple circles are the are us that's the track switches for the passenger trains and let's start off with the dual station so here's the dual loading station and again the concept art uh does show a dual loading station but again that c-shaped spike was cut and also some of the elements over the escalator so we'll still be going over the escalator but it'll be quite a bit different than before so coming out of that c shape or sorry the uh, tra the passenger loading station there and heading on to the first green arrow that launch <laughs> there looks like it'll be a first launch and then you'll instead of going over the escalator you'll make a left hand bank turn and then going over an air airtime hill to an immediate drop then you'll be going over a ground hugging banked turn and you'll move around and go through another bank term turn and then you'll be going over your first set of brakes after the brakes there are uh, not quite sure what element could be there they're guessing maybe a a stall or a dive and then maybe a drop but they're not entirely sure after that unsure element in the gray Arrows, they will be going through the second launch of the attraction. This will launch you right into a dive loop, which I've heard, or a dive drop, uh, which I've heard there'll be a dive loop here, and this could they could be referring to that. There's a junior dive loop on the other side, so that could be referring to that as well. But this is a dive drop. Then you'll be going to yet another launch, the third launch of the attraction, a potential speed hill, going over a banked rise turn into an inverted stall that's your second inversion well, uh yeah it could be I guess. the dive drop i'm not sure if you can call that an inversion or not but let's call it an inversion so that'll be the second inversion here the inverted stall moving over to the third launch of the attraction this one is over the escalators into the junior dive loop and then you'll be diving over and then back under the escalators and coming right back up um this is that starway, that first escalator that we're looking at there. You're coming back up from a banked turn and then into the final break run. And then your ride is over. From the early concept art, that if that was to be correct, um, the C-shaped spike has been cut. But um, most of the other stuff, again, has or some of the other stuff has not, like the cars. There are expected to be four trains, each train themed to the care a certain character's car these top speed is expected to be around 73 miles per hour they are expected to spin because it's gone hollywood drift so they're expected to the spin drift on some of these banked turns and there's a lot of bank turns for that but cosmic rewind style drifting to occur it'll go really fast on those straightaway launches like velocico so it's, it's a nice mix of what could be orlando's what people may call orlando's two best coasters which is really cool but yeah, this looks fantastic. I'm so glad we finally have a site plan, a rumored site plan here. For this, I've been looking for something for this for so long. But 
what do you guys think of this brand new layout by the way someone did the measurements this is only like i think like 300 or so feet shorter than Velocicoaster. so it's basically our Velocicoaster again mixed with cosmic rewind and hollywood's first true you know proper roller coaster big boy roller coaster so to speak so super excited i'll be doing updates on this every single week again the buildings are quickly being demolished what do you guys think of this this is all uh, also, they're uh, Intamin based. They, they. I'm not that, that good at reading coaster side plans uh, to like determine what manufacturer it is. But according to Parkfans.net, they say based on these side plans and the potential inversions, this is 100% Intamin confirmed. So, uh, Intamin will be making this, which is awesome. And um, yeah. So what do you guys think of this awesome side plan and this awesome project? That should be opening in early 2025. Hopefully they'll probably, I'm guessing they'll might finish in 2024 construction. Then, like with Super Nintendo, we'll do the soft opens and everything. And then open in maybe January, February of 2025. If everything goes right, and there's not too many rainstorms later on this year that, uh, you know, stop construction. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates like this video. And as always, have a fast and furious day.